Dinosaurs have fascinated kids for ages. There's the giant Brontosaurus, the funny-looking Stegosaurus, the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex, and now there's Barney, the first fuzzy dinosaur. Giselle Fernandez reports on the big purple reptile that kids can't resist. Not since that famous mouse or that big yellow bird on, has anything captured the hearts of little children like Barney the dinosaur. Oh, I'm so glad to see you all. Who is that? Barney. Barney? Who's Barney? Barney the dinosaur. Who is this? Barney. He's Barney. What is Barney? Barney. He's yours. This purple dinosaur, who got his start in videos, has fast become the attention getter at daycare centers, the star attraction at birthday parties. Birthday. He even made an appearance at the inauguration. He's got a mesmerizing effect, even on the most mischievous of toddlers. When this dinosaur sings, they stop, they listen, some even sing along. So friendly, he's warm, uh, teaches about love, and, and it just kind of like suits the kids. It seems to me that sharing is a special way of caring. It's everywhere in my house. It's on his bed, in his bath towels, all over his room, all over my living room on videotapes. If you think this is just kid stuff, you've got another thing coming. Barney is big business. In all of New York this week, toy stores were sold out of Barney's. This big fellow was the only one we could find. This past year alone, Barney has raked in over $100 million in retail sales, over $50 million in videos. He's on public TV every day, and you haven't seen anything yet. We squeeze Barney's right hand, and like magic, he comes to life. Hello again. Talking Barney is coming out next month along with Barney games and phones and trains, even cookie cutters. At the New York Toy Fair, buyers for toy stores couldn't wait to get in on the action. Will you fall like a duck? Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Kids may not be able to get enough of Barney, but some parents have had all they can take. My husband doesn't love Barney, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> but then parents aren't the point. Giselle Fernandez, CBS News, New York. Love me, love my dinosaur. And while we're on the subject of young children, there'll be some more news of interest about them tomorrow on CBS This Morning, a report about treating your kids, and for that matter yourself, with over-the-counter cold medicines. Dan Rather reporting for the CBS Evening News. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.